there are only dudes in this fucking club <laughs> within their underwear i've never been to a club like this and i gotta be honest with you i don't want to go to such a club either hello everyone welcome back this is benny burrito today we're gonna review all the walls must fall now, i'm gonna start right off by saying uh this this review is definitely my opinion i'm not gonna laud this game i did not enjoy it so Take it what you will, maybe you will or have a different experience, but let's just dive right in. You know, the first thing you're confronted with are the graphics that look like they could have been done for the N64. And the, the plot starts to get set up. And the plot is... Like, right off the bat, they tell you, hey, you're in the future, and oh, hey, player, you control this guy named Kai. He doesn't know what to do without you. To me, that just kills the immersion. It's... I guess, like, I guess I could see it trying to pull you in as part of the game, but, but damn, <laughs> I don't agree with that choice whatsoever. The animations are very janky. Like you move step by step, it, it, it just doesn't feel fluid at all. It's it's kind of a chore to watch you move, and you have to wait for the character to get to where you want them to go. And there's some graphical errors, like here, the menus overlap. I had a hard time seeing what I was doing, and this was in the first level. I was already confused. The game tries to be really complex. And it just comes off confusing. The music is kind of bland. And the dialogues... I mean, this guy just tells you to fuck off. It's like, it tries to be edgy. You can either scare him, flirt with him, or be respectful. And he just tells you to fuck off. How many times have you gone to an art gallery and the guy at the door said fuck off? To me, it's only happened like three times. Here. Shouldn't be hard to find the secret gallery. Don't get ahead of yourself. The irony of saying that to a fucking time traveler. Like, was that necessary? What, what, are, you, what are the developers going for here? It, it, it doesn't come off as edgy. It comes off as, like... Or, like, cool. It comes off as, like, silly. You know what I mean? The dialogue doesn't make sense, either. It's like... Someone in my chat said it was like a dating simulator, and I could see that. This guy got scared because I guess the pocket his handkerchief was in and the color. Wow, dude. How did you guess that? Now, this game does have some fighting. It has some some combat, but it's not fun. You run out of ammo really fast, or at least I did with my SMG, and you die in three hits. And the bullets just come flying at you, and there are mobs. It, it just... I, I, don't, I don't understand. This game just was not for me, I think. Um, so again, just giving my opinion. It, it just... Yeah. I, I, try, I tried to think about something cool to say, something good to say about this game. And I'll say that the Tech Noir Tactics idea was a cool idea. However, the execution feels really lacking. You know what I mean? There are collectibles in this game, so if you're into this game, if you enjoy it, I can see there being a lot of replay value, looking for all the collectibles. Um, the game is a shop that was actually a pretty... I don't know if I could say a pretty good shop. It didn't really have a lot to complain about. It was cool looking, it made me want to try to upgrade equipment and so on. But, yeah, as a whole. And another thing, as we kind of talked about at the beginning, why are there so many people in their fucking underwear? Every stage has someone, like, multiple people, only wearing underwear, only seeing completely clothes off except for their underwear, and it's always dudes. Not there's anything wrong with that, you know what I mean? But were they just, like, reusing the sprites? Dudes in their underwear at the club, dudes in their underwear at the art gallery, dudes in their underwear at the underground railroad you're trying to shut down, which that's a whole other story. So what do I give this game? 4 out of 10. 4 out of 10, I think that's being a little generous, but that's okay. There are probably people out there that love this game, it's just not me. That's all I gotta say. I'll see you next week.